something I don't talk about a lot is cellulite. Okay, so cellulite, now that is something that falls under dermatology, uh, though it is really an aesthetic or cosmetic concern. So it's not something that we kind of learn about in dermatology school because it's not considered a, a true skin disease. But cellulite is um, a major thing and it affects loads and loads of women, makes lots of women very self-conscious. And annoyingly, it's not... Um, treatable with diet and exercise. So um, a lot of skinny women have cellulite, who already, women who already have a very low fat percent, body fat percentage, and of course heavier women also have cellulite. Um, so it's not kind of, it doesn't discriminate against anything. So it's one of these things that is almost ubiquitous in women. So in the United States, um, there's about apparently 70 million women uh, between the ages of, I think it's 35 and 65, has cellulite. And and 38% of them would be willing to do a minimally invasive treatment to try to get rid of it. So this is a major problem. And it can also mean big money for any company that can find an actual decent treatment for cellulite. So the reason I'm bringing it up now is because just this spring, there's been a new treatment for cellulite licensed by the FDA. Now, Usually I don't talk about things like this because generally speaking, they're all a bit rubbish and like we all know that the treatments that have come before for cellulite have all been pretty crap. I mean, if you have cellulite, I'm sure you've tried like a caffeine cream, which um, pretty much does absolutely nothing and is a total waste of time. So a lot of the times these, are, these things are really gimmicky. They don't really do anything. But this new thing that's come on the market recently, it actually has a relatively strong evidence base for it. Um, and it is a drug that's already been used for something else. So we're gonna talk about that in just one second. But before we get to that, I think it's just important to take a step back and to review what cellulite is so you can understand what this treatment is and also what the treatments are that have come before it. Um, so you can kind of, you know, uh, understand where we're going. So like I said, 80% of women um, have cellulite, which is about 70 million women in the USA. Um, and 26 million of them would have an injectable treatment or otherwise for cellulite. So that's a lot of people. So when we talk about cellulite, we're talking about this, the dimpling of the skin surface. So what some people refer to as orange peel, um, but a really kind of like um, hills and valleys appearance to the bum and the thighs. And like I said, it tends to occur in almost all women and it doesn't discriminate between size, body fat, weight or anything like that. Now, the reason it kind of happens um, or the theory behind what causes cellulite is there's three things that are happening. Um, one is that you have an expansion of the subcutaneous fat, so the fat sitting underneath the dermis, and that fat is expanding and pushing up on the dermis. You have a bit of dermal laxity, and as we age, we know that the dermis, which is the second layer of the skin, does thin a bit due to loss of collagen and elastin, and that dermal laxity then allows the fat to push up against the skin, um, creating those hills. Now, you also need something to pull down on the skin in order to create those valleys. And what is almost certainly happening here is that you have these septi, these fibrous bands or fibrous septi that exist between um, the kind of globules of fat that are sitting under your skin. And those uh, fibrous bands seem to stiffen and tighten over time and they pull down on uh, the dermis. So they, these fiber septi that connect the dermis to the muscle and they pull down, which creates the valley. So you have the fat pushing up, which creates the hill. And then you have the septi pulling down, which creates the valley. So you have the, this dimpling effect or this orange peel um, effect on the skin. So that's what cellulite is. And it seems to occur in almost all women from kind of the age of like 30 onwards, um, we do think it's partially driven by hormones, it's partially driven by inflammation, um, lots of different underlying kind of predisposing factors. Pregnancy obviously um, can, and can bring it on as well. Um, now, if we think about that, then also why do women get it and not men? it seems to be because of the anatomy of skin. And this is really interesting, all right? So in women, those fiber septi are arranged in columns or they're, they're, they're parallel to each other. And so the fat is arranged in columns. And so you have this like column of fat, septi. But in men, it appears that the septi are arranged diagonally. So they're like this. So you don't get this the same kind of pulling column effect that you do in women. And that's why men don't get 
cellulite in their butts and thighs because the fiber septi are arranged differently. Now, of course, estrogen and other hormones in women also regulate the storage of fat in its metabolism, which almost certainly has a role there. And this whole idea of inflammation, which is causing these fibrous bands to thicken, is also a component of that. So interesting that you have these different things going on at the same time. So um, the fiber septi that are thickening, they're pulling down, the columns of fat pushing up, and then you get this dimpling look. Now, what treatments exist? Lots of treatments exist. Now, if you've ever looked into it, you'll know, and it's one of the most Googled things ever, the treatment of cellulite. So I'm just going to list through these. So you have non-invasive treatments like bipolar and unipolar radiofrequency, acoustic wave, low-level laser energy. Of all of those, the only one that even has a moderate effect based on the evidence is the acoustic waves. Um, but it's not long lasting. You need at least eight treatments. It requires a maintenance treatment. It's basically not very good. Um, then you have these um, treatments that really don't do anything like mesotherapy, lipodissolve, carboxy therapy, and endermology, which are all like basically rolling the skin or injecting the skin. And we know those don't do anything at all. Then you have topicals, which are also useless, like caffeine, retinols, eminophilin, and theophylline. They are not helpful. And then you have minimally invasive treatments. Um, so you have things like an ND YAG laser. Um, and then you have something called subcision and subcision with laser. And subcision is literally taking a needle and breaking up those fibrous bands. Subcision, um, I can do it for acne scarring when there's scarring underneath the skin or in the skin that you need to break up. So subcision is using a specialized needle to go in and literally break those bands up. And um, it's not fun to have done. Um, it can be fairly effective, but it's for, for, for a very specific type of cellulite. It's not something I've ever done to a patient. I've subsized facial skin, but I've never done it to a bum. Um, and I don't plan on doing it anytime soon. So it doesn't look fun and I don't think it works very well. So that leaves us with a kind of a gap in the market for a treatment. And like I said, millions of women um, would want to have this treatment. So it is a gold mine for whatever company is going to create something. So there is a company that has created something and it's called QWO or Quo. And where the name came from, and let me just get this right. The WO stands for women, seriously. And the Q meaning the Q is for it's going to change the status quo for women. Hence the name Quo or QWO. I mean, really? That's fine. We're just going to ignore the fact they named it like that, like that. Now, the actual chemical name of the drug is collagenase clostridium histolo histolyticum. Oh, collagenase clostridium histolyticum. And it's an injectable collagenase. So a collagenase is a kind of enzyme that breaks down collagen. And this type of collagenase, it primarily breaks down collagen types one and three, which are the kinds that are found in the fiber septi of cellulite. How convenient. Now, the reason I don't think this is a total crock of crap is because this same exact drug is already used for the treatment of actual medical problems. So it's been FDA approved for a, quite a long time for the treatment of Dupuytren's contracture, which is a problem in the hands where you get tightening of the bands of the hands and it causes the hands to contract like this. And obviously that's very uncomfortable and doesn't let you do anything. So they inject it into the bands and it releases them. It allows patients to have normal hands or use, use their hands normally. And the other disease is called Pironi's disease. Ooh, this is a good one, which is fibrous scar tissue developing in the penis, which causes painful erections and a curved penis. Now this drug is also licensed for the treatment of that. So they literally inject it into the affected area and it causes breakdown of the collagen bands. So we're looking at a drug that is already used for medical indications and it seems to work quite well. So this got me kind of excited because it also thinks about or looks at the actual underlying problem, which is these fibrous bands. So that's kind of cool. Now let's look at the actual data. So, um, it looks pretty promising. And what is involved is it's an injectable treatment. You get 12 injections to each bum or thigh, depending on where you're treating it. Um, and you need to have it once every three weeks, 12 injections to each. Um, in the biggest clinical trial they had, um, it's 843 women, women. They did a placebo control trial, so it was a decent study. The FDA approved it based on this outcome. So um, the FDA thought it was a good study, which is always promising. They found significant improvement in dimpling um, by one and two levels uh, that has to do with the grading of uh, cellulite 
um, in the women who were studied. Bruising was the most common side effect and appears to be relatively long lasting, at least 90 days post injection. But there's currently a study looking at five years um, data and that's literally going on now. So we're gonna see whether the results last for up to five years. So we don't know if they do or not. Um, they may only last for six months, but we'll have to wait and see. And it literally works by injecting the collagenase into the areas of cellulite and dissolving the fibrous bands. So that's pretty cool. Um, I've not tried it yet. I'm um, gonna find a patient to try it on. <laughs> no, just kidding. It's not been licensed yet in Europe or um, in the UAE as far as I'm aware. So the minute I do get my hands on it, I will definitely give it a whirl. Um, I don't have cellulite very obviously myself, so I won't be trying it on myself, but I will be definitely trying it on um, patients uh, when they come in. So, um, but yeah, I'm excited to be looking at this new treatment. I mean, if it works well for cellulite, that'd be pretty amazing. Um, I think most women would line up to have this done. I'm expecting it to be relatively expensive. So we're talking a good couple thousand pounds per treatment. Um, so we definitely want to make sure that it is long lasting before any of us start to shell out cash for this. So I'm definitely not going to do this until it's been licensed in obviously the UK and Europe, um, and we know a little more about how long it lasts. But looking at cellulite overall, um, this seems to be the most promising treatment that's going to be coming out hopefully soonish. It's already obviously approved in the US, so we are going to get some data coming out of the US um, practices probably very soon as they are already advertising it and they're starting to do it. So um, let's just see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, that's it for cellulite. That's a summary of cellulite, what it is, what the treatments are, and what is on the horizon. So if you are struggling with your um, dimpled bum, then let's see, fingers crossed, if a QWO or QUO will indeed change the status quo for women, at least when it comes to cellulite.